Yo, I'm Nez. I'm out in the backyard dropping another impromptu review again. And it's spring again. We're well into spring. The weather's nice again. So I'm back outside doing my reviews because it's just, you know, plain and simple, it's just much nicer out here. So, I mean, but I'm out here doing a review because what I'm reviewing is basically for outside anyway. So, enough about that. Let's get into this. What we're doing a review of this time is the BAM. This is the new Blink outdoor camera system now before we start getting into this i just want to first of all i mean i mean i'll put in the link either in the description down below at the end of this video or up in the card somewhere i'm not sure how i'm going to do it but somewhere whether it's down below or at the end of this video you'll see i already did reviews of the original blink xt a couple years ago um this is the third generation now i do have the blink xt2 camera I just never did a review of it and I think I'm going to just do like a quick review which is, is going to be similar to this type of review. I'm not going into all the ins and outs of the camera because if you watch my first review it's going to be the same as that. This is going to have a few extra features so I may just talk about the few extra features that you have on this but I'm not going to do a complete review um, because uh, like I said I already have one of those on here. And I'm probably going to do the same thing with the X-T2. Or I may not. I may just do a comparison video. Because uh, this is the new, this is the third generation. Which my first gripe is, is that um, they call it Blink Outdoor. Now, the first generation was the Blink X-T Outdoor Camera. The second generation was the Blink X-T2 Outdoor Camera. And here we are on the third generation, which is just Blink Outdoor. That's a bit confusing when you're looking around to buy it because I'm thinking it's going to be called the Blink X-T3 and I'm searching for that and you can't find it and blah 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 yada yada that's a whole nother gripe I just wanted to point that out there so if anybody from Blink or Amazon because it's an Amazon company now if anybody from uh, Blink or Amazon sees this video maybe consider if you come out with a fourth generation of this maybe call it the Blink X-T4 as to not be confusing don't do something stupid like calling it the Blink Outdoor 2 that's just going to be or just call it Blink 4th Gen, you know, which is what it is. So now that I got my little rant out the way, let's get into this. Um, but before we get into this, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification button. Um, so that way you can be notified whenever I put out videos such as this. And if you're feeling this video, you wouldn't mind hitting me, hooking me up with a thumbs up, baby. And also share this video so that way you can let other people know about the content that I put out. Now that we got the politics out the way, let's get into this. This is the front of the box bomb. Now, this is just the add-on module. This is not the whole kit. I already, there's no need for me to get the whole kit because, like I said, my original review that I'll link somewhere will be of the whole three camera system. So this will be my fifth camera. Um, front of the box right here. Battery powered um, security add-on camera. It's weather resistant, day and night. HD, two-way audio, motion detection, works with Alexa. Two-year battery life. Two-year battery life. Just want to make sure I throw out the air course two year battery life. Um, side box, some more literature. You can read that if you like. I don't know how well you've seen it. It's a very sunny day, so hopefully you're able to see all this. Some more stuff. You can pause and read that. Back of the box, just showing a picture of it, you know, out in the elements. Bo top of the box, blink out door, more uh, artwork. Got your little barcode. You know, I like to show you that. Focus in on that. Okay, and then the back, uh, bottom of the box, more stuff. You can pause that and read that for yourself if you like. I don't know how well you're seeing it. All right, so now we did that. Let's get into this. Okay. We presented with uh, some Blink. Uh, a Blink book. I don't need that. Throw that to the side. Here's a camera. Bung. Don't forget, take your plastic off the front and the back. You know, I usually leave the I usually leave the plastic on the back just for myself, but I'm telling you, take it off. You don't need it on there. Here goes the mount. Now I like the other mount better than this, but this mount serves its purpose also. You got some batteries. You got they start you off with two Energizer lithium batteries. We'll talk about that later. And you got two screws to screw the mount. Oh, look. Okay. I see what they're doing here. It's a, it's like a oh no, this is a tool. 
I thought this was a, a extension to the mount. This is the tool to open up the back, which you could just probably get a nickel and do the same thing. Um, nothing else in the box. So I'll just let that sit right there. So I'm gonna take this off. Ah, feels so good to do that. All right, take off the, I'm gonna leave the back on because it's not covering up anything. So I'm gonna leave the back on mine. But pretty much, this is the front. Um, the difference between the XT2, I mean the XT, first, let me grab an XT real quick, just so you can see. Because the XT and the XT2 look exactly the same. Here's an XT, the light just came on because it's uh, actually recording me right now do this. So maybe I'll show you that video too. Um, here's the XT, and this is the, I'm just gonna call it the XT3, but not as to, so you know the difference because they're both outdoor cameras. Okay, as you can see, this is the big infrared system right there in front. And then there goes your notification LED, so that way it lets you know that you're recording. Um, your microphones are on the side right there. Your speaker, oh, there is no speaker on this because there's no two-way audio on the first version, the X-T1, or just the X-T, there's no uh, two-way audio. On the X-T2 and X-T3 versions, there's three. There's two-way audio. So the speaker on this one is the front. I heard on, I mean, I heard, I should I should say I heard, but I know on X-T2, the speaker's on the bottom, um, which I think it's better, you know, if it's on the front, so that way, you know, when the audio's, when I'm talking to someone, the audio's coming out at them, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. Um, here's your infrared sensors and all your sensors up there. Your microphones are on the side of the camera. The same is, uh, this one. Um, but, and, uh, this is more aerodynamic, whereas, you know, this one's not. And then the, take the battery to take, the, to remove the batteries, you got to pull down on this and then just pull it off. Whereas this one, you need the actual tool. At least you need at least a tool or you need the uh, or you get a nickel and do the same thing. Both your cases are, you know, uh, ports are covered up because you can run a USB line directly to the camera and power it that way. You don't have to use the batteries. And obviously they have it covered up here just for more waterproofing. But that's what that's the spot where you have to open it up. All right. So those are your different similarities and differences real quick. Let me put this camera back up where it belongs. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the tool, just open this up so you can see on the inside. After you loosen up, you can unscrew it there and this should, yep, come right out. Just loosen it up a little bit, comes out. That's what it looks like on the inside. Make sure I cover up my little barcode there. So basically that barcode, you scan it so that way you can uh, register the camera, blah, blah, blah. You put your two batteries in there, boom. Nothing really to see in there. There goes your little micro USB port right there, so that way you can run power directly to it through the little little port there on the back. But pretty much it. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna slap some batteries in here, and then I'm just gonna go through run through the setup procedure, which you don't need to see. Like I said, I already did that. Been there, done that. You know what? I, you know what? Let me let me just let me let me do that right quick. Instead of using these batteries, I'm going to put my, uh, I have some uh, rechargeable lithium, um, lithium recharge, rechargeable batteries I'll throw in here, which are more powerful than these. So I'm going to throw those in this. So uh, let, me, let me, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back in. We got some bat lithium batteries. I'll throw the links in the description for these uh, rechargeable batteries because the actual lithium AA batteries are pretty expensive. So instead of, and um just to throw this out there real quick, the batteries do not, the, the camera does not, the batteries do not last two years. I, I don't care in what, unless you have this bad boy in like a dark room somewhere where it's really not detecting any motion or anything like that, that's how the batteries will last two years. Most of I've gotten the batteries to last on one of my cameras. I probably got the batteries to last probably a year, but that's because it's in the spot where it has the, the fewest, the littlest amount of motion. It gets motion occasionally from like a squirrel or a, bug, a bee flying by it or something like that. But other than that, it gets very little motion. So the batteries lasted a year on that, but I've never gotten two years. And, and my my first, um, the XT, um, the first gen, I should say, 
Uh, I've had that system for about four years now, maybe five years. And in my five years, I've never had any batteries. On average, I never have any batteries last a year, I should say. But on average, um, or oh, more than a year. I, I never had any batteries last more than a year. On average, I'm changing the batteries monthly at best. You know, oh no, I shouldn't say at best. Of month, uh, bi-monthly at best. I, you know, with average motion, I have a camera up front which gets regular motion from people, mailmen, delivery packages, stuff like that. And then my back camera it gets the most, um, uh, just from you know, most uh, action, just from us being go work, going out in the backyard and stuff like that. Squirrels, all my dog in and out. So my back camera, I, I'm changing the batteries monthly on that. And my front camera, I'll change the batteries probably six to every six to eight weeks. So I don't expect anything different from this camera here. So now that I got the batteries in, let me, <coughs> and you've been looking at my barcode that whole time, make sure I cover that up. I'm going to go ahead and add a, you go into the Blink app here, you see all my different cameras. You hit the plus sign up top to add a camera. We're adding a new um, not a system, just a new blank wireless camera here. Hit that, and then it's going to open up the thing. I'm going to go ahead and scan that barcode. It recognized the barcode. I'm putting adding it to my home system here. Uh, select system is armed. It needs to be disarmed. Okay, so I have to disarm the system first. So disarm the system. And now it's looking for the positioning my camera while it's doing that. Still looking one moment while it's thinking, updating firmware. So you just gotta be patient and while it does all that, my Amazon already, I don't see if you've seen that pop up, Amazon already recognized a new camera. So it's updating the firmware right now. Okay, it's done updating the firmware. Camera added successfully, hit done. Your device comes with free cloud stores, I already know, I already have it. Uh, so my new camera is down here on the bottom while it's updating the image. I'm just going to go into the settings and now you got a bunch more settings but the first thing I'm going to do is change the name I'm going to call it just backyard no front yard front camera because I'm switching out my front camera front cam X T three. So I'm naming it front cam X T three. Uh, all the other stuff. I'm going to change the sensitivity to like four there. Clip length. I want full clip length. I know it decreases your battery life. Uh, end clip early. If motion stops. Nope. I want to. I want to keep. Well, yeah. I mean, if the motion stops and end clip early. Uh, early notification, yes, because it's going to be my front doorbell cam. Motion recording, yes. Control auto, IR density medium. Enable speaker, yes, speaker volume max. Quality, I want best quality, yep, I know it will reduce the, um, the, the battery life, I know. I know. Styles LED recording, it last updated just now. Wi-Fi is good. Connection sync module is good. Bonk. All that, all that stuff there is great. Okay, my zones, I don't have to worry about that right now because that right here is not set in position. Um, once I set in position, I'll come back in. Maybe I'll show you that or maybe not. I don't know. See how. But um, what I'm going to focus on doing is getting these guys some footage so that way I could put into this video so you can see how the footage turns out and then uh, finish out the video. So uh, catch you on the flip. Wait, real quick. Hold on. Before I even do all that, let's, uh, let's do a, a live video save all that stuff so
So I'm just gonna hit live video real quick so you can see me. All right, camera just clicked on. And that's me. Live in the flesh right here. Recording you, recording me, recording you, recording me. Okay, you can barely hear it. Let's turn the volume up. Uh, I didn't hit the continue. Oh, hit continue. So that's what it does. It tries to record in like 20 second clips. And then it'll ask you to continue after every 20 second because it needs a little rest period. But um, yeah, I mean, the video quality is really good. So what I'm going to do is maybe I might put this video or maybe I get some other video and uh, attach it to the end of this. So um, I'll end the video off like that by saying um, I'm Nez and there's been the review of the Blink Outdoor or the X-T3 add-on cam. Um, I'll put the links for this in the description down below where you can get it. And uh, I'm out this piece. Check out the video at the end uh, to see what the video quality look like. And um, check back in, make sure you like. If you like this video, hook me up with a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and come back because I'm gonna do some comparison videos between, between this camera, the X-T1 and the X-T2. So um, 